Yo, 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 what's up, peeps? It's your boy Vega Bomber. Not in Vega Bomber land because this is the mobile edition. And so today's topic today is all about Black Panther because in a few hours I will be there waiting to see the movie that I've been wanting to see since 1992 when Wesley Snipes was first attached to it. Yeah, I've been waiting that long. In a way, it's good that it didn't come out before now because in a lot of ways, the technology wouldn't be as good as it is now. And of course, the MCU is in stride. So maybe we wouldn't see as good as the movie, but either way, I'm excited, I'm happy. And here we go, today is the day. So a few more hours now, and your boy Vegabomb will be at Black Panther. That's right, opening night. And I'm pretty sure I'll see it a couple of times because when a movie's good, I vote with my dollars, yo. That's right, I will make sure that I see this movie a couple of times. Uh, and with several different groups of friends because if it's a good movie, I want to enjoy it with people. So I keep saying if it's a good movie and I probably think, well, I know what I think. I think it will be pretty good, but let me just share with you three things that this movie, and that is Black Panther, needs to avoid in order, in my opinion, to be a great film. Number one, this film needs to be about Black Panther, not more about Killmonger, and not more about Dora Milaje, right? The, the private bodyguards of the King or Black Panther. So to me, it would be horrible if this movie just takes a focus off of Black Panther and makes it all about the Dora Milaje and makes it all about Killmonger and you know the sympathetic bad guy type thing. Now, I'm not saying I don't want those elements in this film. What I am saying is, is please, 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 I've been waiting long enough for Black Panther. Don't let that overshadow who he is because as a character he's great he's a very complex character I mean think about it here's a character that <clears throat> is the son of a beloved king a king that everybody loved and that was T'Chaka T'Chaka was forward thinking enough to send his son out to go study outside of Wakanda that's the reason why Black Panther has a PhD in physics at Oxford so his father T'Challa's father T'Chaka had the forward presence of mind to say, you know what, we kind of got to get away from some of our xenophobia here in Wakanda. We need to get out and understand the world, right? Because there's a lot we could learn. And so T'Challa is the embodiment of that. So how do you follow up a great king with that much foresight, T'Chaka and T'Challa, and also coming in under, the, under this, the guises that he's coming under, which is the fact that he's coming back to his country after, his, after the king has been killed. And he's a beloved king. Right, so imagine how people felt when Martin Luther King Jr. was killed, that was a big deal. Hell, when Elvis was dead, when Tupac was shot, when Biggie was shot, right? There was just this big mourning. Now imagine a whole country being this way because T'Chaka killed in Civil War. And now here comes T'Challa. And it's almost like some people are gonna be like, well, what you gonna do? What you gonna do now? And some might be saying, well, what kind of man are you gonna be? You gonna be like your dad? Well, what can we expect if you're going to rule over? So you can imagine all of that. I'll say number two. The number two thing that they can't do in this film, if they want to keep it on track as far as I'm concerned, is they can't make it about a ton of jokes in the sense that Black Panther is a very serious man. He's not a joker. Now, you can have ancillary characters cutting up jokes, but Black Panther is not supposed to be sitting there all of a sudden turning into Iron Man, Peter Quill, Thor, Ant-Man, uh, Spider-Man, that's not Black Panther. He's not supposed to be quippy like that. He's witty and he can have a sarcastic wit, right? But he shouldn't be trying to turn into the, the usual Marvel comics. So we gotta keep that away from this movie. Again, love humor, but not that kind of humor and it doesn't fit in this type of tone situation that he has. And I'm sure they'll put some humor in it because I want them to, but just not that kind. All right, and the number three thing, Please don't let this be the case. Don't let somebody else have to come in and save Black Panther from all the situations. In other words, don't make it be Bucky. Don't make it be Captain America. Don't make it be somebody that has to come in and go, wow, wow, Black Panther can't seem to handle his own stuff. We better jump in and save him and white knight him, if you will. Like, no, this needs to be self-contained. This needs to be a story where Black Panther is gonna is gonna come back. Not everybody's happy about it. And then he has to win some people over and maybe have to fight a few people because they don't believe he should be the rightful king. But don't make this a situation where he needs outside help for him to take care of Wakandan business. 
So just stay away from those three things, movie, Marvel movie, and I think what you might have on your hands is truly a masterpiece. Now, the next time I film and the next time you guys see this face, I won't be dressed and still in some of my work clothes. I'll be in my Black Panther clothes and I'll be telling you about the film after I get out from the, the film. We'll, I'll film that tonight since I'm saying it tonight. And then as time goes along, I might also do a piece about all the crazy, super, stupid stuff that's going on around it, like the score, the identity politics, and people assuming things about it. I might touch on that for a little bit because, I don't know, at some point, I'm a critic of movie, but I'm also a critic of the, of the audience and, and people coming to see the movie and, and whether they're setting up false expectations or setting up, I don't know, juvenile arguments for, you can't see Black Panther because if you like it, you'll be okay, but if you don't like it, you'll be a racist. And, I've already seen some videos on that, and I'm going to address that as well. I see my boy Prim has done that. So Prim, good on you for making a video on that. In fact, I might put a link here so that people can find it where you are talking about that very thing with some people who are already trying to say something about a movie they haven't even seen. Anyway, that's enough for me. It's your turn. Meet me in the comments. What, what three things or a couple of things or maybe one thing you don't want to see in this film in order for this film to be great for you. Like, what's the thing that this movie could do that could really, like, turn you off? Kind of like how the characterization in Luke, of Luke in The Last Jedi. So, what would be that moment in Black Panther for you if you're someone who knows the lore and is excited about it and want to go see it? All right, your turn to talk. It's your boy, Big Bomber, and I'm out. You!